Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams, and I want to talk about the difference in Bootstrap 5 when it comes to the left and the right, and it's all about this RTL. So you'll find it inside the docs called RTL, and what it stands for is right to left. I have two projects right here. I have our Western design, which is Hello World, and I have the first of three columns, the second of three columns, and the third of three columns. Well, the web should be universal. And in Bootstrap, they're making it more and more universal. In the Western English language, we read left to right, or LTR. What they're trying to do in Bootstrap, if I bring up that file or that project again, is now also work to include the Arabic language, which reads right to left, or in this example, right here. Now, as you can see, there is an Arabic, which I'm assuming is gonna say hello world. And if anyone does read Arabic on this video, I please help that I am confirming that, but I'm just assuming because this is the bootstrap base tutorial. So notice how this reads right to left. The first of three columns is now on the right hand side. The second of course is in the middle and the third of three columns is now on the left. If you look in the code, it's exactly the same setup though. The hello world English, which I have right here in our index, the first of three is top, middle, and bottom, and the same with Arabic. Note that I have the exact same code. First of three, second of three, third of three. But Arabic reads right to left, English Western reads left to right. So because Bootstrap is working in this direction, the left and right doesn't always fit in so many directions. And now what we're seeing in Bootstrap is especially if we go into our spacing. Let's take a look at that for one second. The spacing area, if we type in, and I'm trying to find it, there it is, we are in the right section. The spacing no longer says left and right. The spacing now says start and end. This is because Bootstrap wants to change the narrative from saying left and right to start and end. Notice how it says margin left and padding left is LTR, and then margin right or padding right is RTL. So let's apply this to our design to see this in action. What I'm gonna do is I first have to add a background color because I wanna use padding inside of this grid. Inside of my container, what I wanna do is I wanna add a background color. So Instead of having any CSS files, let's start with the index file right here, which is our English Western and where our English design. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say background, oops, yeah, I should probably type style first. I got ahead of myself, background color and purple. And if I save this, it'll all turn purple. So what I have to do next is I have to add some background colors to those three columns so we can then move some padding around. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use BG light, which is a code or class inside of Bootstrap to make it a light gray. So I'll add those three pieces. I'm gonna say BG light, BG light, and BG light. What I'm then gonna do is say up inside of the div class row, I'm gonna say padding start, and just so we can see it, I'm gonna say five. It's kind of small at one. So now note that this PS5 starts in this design. Let's copy and paste this entire design over to the Arabic side, just so I have exactly the same code. I'm gonna copy, come over to Arabic, save, and now I'll come back to the Arabic, and now it goes over to the right-hand side, or the start, because everything flows from right to left. So when you are working inside of Bootstrap, be aware that there is less and less notation for left and right and more notation for start and end. And that is all due, oh, where'd my screen go? It's gone, I lost it. But the RTL, if I search for it again, there it is. The RTL, it does say experimental, but I'm gonna see it more and more. I'm seeing this trend inside of Bootstrap and I didn't also notice a lot of feature rich blog articles pick up on this, but this is gonna be huge down the road. As the web becomes more and more universal, we can write more universal code. And this is 
like reason 1345 why I really enjoy using Bootstrap as it's making the web a more universal place to work in and making it easier for me as a designer and coder to build universal websites. If you want more information how Bootstrap 5 has changed compared to Bootstrap 4, I have this great video explaining the three big changes within Bootstrap 5. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with The Designer Who Codes.